digital horse racing um again sort of i guess maybe it's in the same vein you know we're dealing with nfts and all this sort of stuff it just kind of blew my mind that like it seemed way more than just a like a like you'd think it'd be like a game or something but this this is way more than that and again with that kind of virtual reality concept in mind the it's kind of leaning into that more into that side of thing and that you've got you know the the ability to customize you know a bloodline for a horse to maximize your chances in um a horse race that for all intents and purposes in the digital environment with the nfts etc is effectively replicating uh the scenario of a real life horse race with real life betting with real life everything yet it's just taking place in a digital environment instead and that kind of just blew my mind in terms of the fact that that's a thing and that people seem to be into it oh look <laughs> It blew my mind in exactly the same way. I mean, it's alternate reality because the thing is, is this isn't a simulation. Uh, this is genetics, real horse genetics taken and the horses are created just like real genetic lines are created and the performance of the horse is based on that and running a virtual environment or to alternate environment i guess that gives us the same uncertainty that you would get if you went to a real horse race it's crazy it's absolutely crazy yeah um and to me um i mean it's not my cup of tea i'll have to say but um the the fact that um uh it seems to be a more practical use of nfts maybe um yeah ra- rather than that you know oh, oh i'm, I'm going to buy a, a digital artwork for you know five thousand bucks or well, what someone was telling me the other day that they you know there's a four and a half thousand dollar virtual gucci bag that you can buy like i don't see how that has any value at all but that seems to be a thing that people be getting into but maybe something like this has the word tangible <laughs> might not be the right word but at least it kind of gives you a feeling that maybe there's something a bit more to this in terms of its usability and its practical kind of uh, use, I guess. It's an alternate reality. It's a valid reality, even though it's uh, non-tangible, it's not physical, but it's it's valid. It's, it's you know, in, in a lot of ways, if you were to stack it up, say, against uh, a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, it's probably got a lot more intrinsic value in it because the basis on which you're competing or valuing your NFT can be validated. If your NFT, the horse, performs and wins races, that, that's validation. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's phenomenal what it will do. And, and, and to think that, you know, probably NASCAR are getting involved, you know, uh, UFC will get involved, be able to grow your own fighters and hopefully we won't have to see real people get their heads punched in <laughs> much, <laughs> much longer. You know, it, it's, it's mind-blowing in the same way that, you know, when you look at what that uh, reality engine can do uh, in film, the, the NFTs are doing for effectively, I guess, our real life gaming. Yeah, exactly. it's 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 crazy. Hmm. I guess just one final point to finish up, and I guess this is kind of a um, a topic that would apply to um, for another time, another a discussion at another time, which is to circle back to this: um, what is what is real, and where is the value in actually real world um, interactions as opposed to all of this that's happening, and the disconnect that may start to happen between what people start behaving in terms of plugging themselves into these things more and more and spending more and more time on it to the almost to the detriment of spending time in the in the real world and how that could potentially change what what being human is all about given that i think there's some really big implications um underlying all of that i i agree with you i think a technology like this is more likely to change the way we live than probably any other because if there's real value or considered value in this as a commodity and you can make money by existing in a virtual in an alternate reality uh then you can have an alternate economy which means you can live in the machine 
Yeah. Just on your reality engine and away you go. Well, there's a nice uh, point to finish up on and I'm sure we'll, uh, well, maybe we'll explore that uh, some other time. But, yeah, it just boggles the mind. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just remember while you're in the alternate reality, someone can sneak up behind you with a great big stick.